I'm here today to review iLungers. It's their T4 transforming solar robot kit. It could be an insect, a T-Rex, um, a robot, a drill, like a driving drill car. We made the T-Rex or the dinosaur as they call it. And it's precious, isn't it? <laughs> and my son and I have been having a lot of fun with it. It comes in a kit. It looks like this. And those are the four different types you can make. So the insect and the robot and like the little drill driver car. And so the drill part would spin. So we made this and I put it together and he watched. He's eight and he's a bruiser of a kid. And we saw the little parts and the main part of the whole thing is this gearbox. You have to build the gearbox. We decided that I would make it and he would watch. <laughs> so like the working edition. This, he always, he knows, he's homeschooled, so it's perfect for homeschooling, and kids need visuals. You can teach them all you want about anything. If they don't see it, if they don't, they say they get it, they understand the concept, they can repeat it back to you. But for them to come alive in their brain and you to see it in their face, it's amazing. And with this little guy, you know, because these little solar panels up top, he does not store solar energy. The solar energy is just what makes it go. So it needs to be out in full sun. And when they say full sun, they mean full sun because it doesn't store it. Does that make any sense? Um, a lot of things don't need full, full sun. Like our lights will come on if they haven't had full sun all day and everything like that. It's because they're storing energy. They're slowly getting it and, you know, saving it and storing it. This needs full sun. So no complaining about not working. It's what it is. It's what it needs full sun. We went out this evening. You know, when the sun was low in the sky, and it really, as to me, it's like, if you're, if you're just going for, like, lessons, it's best time. Because we could stand on our porch, and then, you know, we have, like, a cover on our porch, and we'd have to angle it like this. So we'd hold it and angle it out, and so the, the sun would hit it straight on. As soon as you do, it turns on immediately. The mouth opens and closes that fast. Those little legs are going. And then you pull it back, and the shade goes off, like on, off. We were doing that for, for a while. On, off, on, off. And so my son could fully grasp at that point the power of the sun, the energy it will give you. He could see at that moment, you know, how it would work. It was powerful enough just by being in the sun. The sun's rays hitting the panel would make the gear spin. I mean, this little mouth, I can't do it on its own, as you see. It doesn't go. It opens pretty fast like that. And his little legs go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> so um, it was amazing to see his face. It's just amazing just for him to fully grasp it and you could tell that he, at that moment he fully understood everything we talk about you know what I mean it's something so simple so um, this is a lot of fun it's pretty durable too obviously when you put it together but um, it just snaps together so then they show you in the booklet how to actually take it apart so you get it looks daunting when it first comes don't let it scare you. It almost let it scare me. So don't let it scare you. I've already been scared for the two of us, right? For all of us. This is the instruction booklet. Don't lose it. If you eat through cardboard boxes and get a plastic container to put all the parts in, because not all the parts go into the one item. Um, there's separate parts left over to make the different things. So you can take it apart. The gearbox is going to remain the same. So this is what the book looks like. And when you open up the book, you're going to see... Um, the breakdown of parts. This is the loose parts. And I say by loose is they come in big sheets and they have to snap the parts off. These are loose and little baggies. Um, and fortunately, all the pictures are very well illustrated and it matches up exactly. So it's not a lot. You will need, um, I took out like my wire cutters and um, that's what I used. So you're going to need that because some of the ends, when you snap off the little plastic pieces, they'll have little plastic tabs on it. you got to cut them off. So you will need that. So you will have to have a tool, and that's the one tool you're going to have to have. So I have lived in a house of electricians. I actually have one out. <laughs> I use it all the time. And then you get sheets that look just like this. One's green, one's gray, A and B. B is gray, A is green. So it's real simple. And then, it, you know, it shows you step by step what you're going to need to build the gearbox like how this is attaching the solar panel and what you're going to do it's pretty simple at first i like freaked out and then i calmed down <laughs> and then i was good to go um if i can show you here you can see the big letter b if i put my hand up maybe no it makes it worse you can see the big letter b here and then 
like this, some of them are big enough where it says like B5 right on it, but the ones that are small, we'll have it like right here, like here's the five. And then you just snap the thing out. And see what you're talking about. Then some of them will have longer tabs and you got to snip that off. So these are the ones are left over to build the, um, to build other parts with, you know, cause you know, he really wanted the dinosaur as his favorite. And then you're going to get a few stickers. And then you actually use all this, like, um, this was used to thread the solar wire into one part. So that's why I left it and put it back in the bag. And these were actually used to help build the gearbox. And then when you're done attaching it, you're attaching it, then it tells you at some point to take them off. So I just put that back on the, the Ziploc baggies they actually included with it. It's the bag, one of the bags that came with it. In the book too, though, it'll show you see here this is what I'm talking about um it's actually very well illustrated if you stop like freaking out at the size of the instruction and then follow it because it's numbered so four you gotta look at one thing at a time because you get to stage four of that you know follow it over what you do then go up to the next one so five and it'll take you down through the steps so just go one box at a time and it's very simple if you we do it like that but I want to look at the end of the dinosaur okay that's a truck let's see here if I can find the end now because the end shows you how to break it apart <laughs> well it did last night when I was looking at it <laughs> but it does oh here we are so when you're done with the dinosaur here and you want to take it apart and then it shows you how to go ahead and start separating it so it does it helps you show but see the dinosaur is real simple it tells you like when you get to the end like if your kid wants to be hands-on but you don't want to put in the gearbox together because you break it or lose a little piece they send it flying it's done so there's no extra little pieces they send exactly what you need that's why I'm saying you might want to build it over a big container with sidewalls or something. So if a part goes rolling, you don't lose it. Or over a thick carpet. I actually went and sat in the middle of a big carpeted area. So it wasn't going anywhere. It'd be right there. That's what I did. And then he watched me. But then the big parts, the plastic parts that snap on the end, they're bigger. So, you know, the younger ones could do that themselves. They can help you um, put it together that way. But you can see it's pretty simple. Once I got over the fear of it, or I guess intimidation factor... But it's amazing. I'm really amazed how fast this little guy. I thought he would probably move slowly, you know, uh, uh, uh. but you know, his little legs go and his mouth opens <laughs> when it has full sun. And the on off, you'll see as an adult, you'll be doing it too. <laughs> I love it. It's a great set. It's a great, great, great learning tool. And for the price point, you know, that's amazing. So we're in love with our little um, solar kit here from iLunger. A little solar robot kit. They're a lot of fun. Enjoy, guys.